back to another Amy Sunday vlog. I'm about to head out the door because I'm meeting up with my friend Spencer for brunch at Sweetwater Tavern. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. It's actually President's Day, so I'm getting the Sunday scaries real bad because I do not want to start the work week tomorrow. Before I head out the door, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an outfit of the day moment. Sorry, I just keep on like getting distracted by the men outside my house. I'll go ahead and start off with my coat. This is such a cute number from Abercrombie. I bought this a couple seasons ago, but it has this really cute houndstooth detail. It goes all the way down to my calves, which I love. For my base layer, I just have a casual knit sweater on. I think this is a cashmere piece by Mod & Bow. For my jeans, these are from Everlane, and I believe it's called the Cheeky Jean. I'll go ahead and link everything in the description as always. For shoes, I just have my Vejas. I love these ones. The Campos are so comfortable, and I love the little black accent with the V. That kind of ties in with my jeans. I'm always looking for ways for my outfits to kind of tie together, like all the pieces work cohesively. And then for my bag, I'm wearing my gray, like chalk color, Poland bag. For my jewelry, I just have my normal day-to-day -day jewelry. I just recently made a video on all of my everyday jewelry pieces. If you guys are curious on learning more about that, I'll go ahead and link it. But yeah, that is my casual outfit for brunch. Oh, you guys are crooked. Sorry about that. I am starting this day off on a bright note. And by bright note, I am being completely sarcastic. I'm going to the dentist right now to get an onlay or a crown, just depending on what the situation is when they dig into my tooth. That's what we're doing today. So I wanted to show you guys my outfit. It's really comfy. I am wearing my Polen bag. Very, very cute. It's just a pale gray. It's in the color chalk. My shoes are from Veja. Veja? It's Veja. That's how you speak say it. My overcoat is from Zara from a couple seasons ago. Matching set from Lululemon. I love their soft streamline and this is just a quarter zip or a half zip with a little kangaroo pocket and the soft stream pant in the long version. I had to get it hemmed by Lululemon. They do a free service for that. If you're on the petite side and things are too long on you, you can definitely go ahead and take advantage of that service. That is what I'm wearing. It's very simple, casual, comfy because I'm definitely not going to be comfy up here while they're digging in. I'm going to ballet for the first time in my life with my girlfriends. I'm so, so excited for it. I think we're watching Swan Lake. I'm pretty sure that's the performance. And then afterwards, we're gonna head out into DC, into the city to celebrate a friend's birthday. So we're gonna go to a bar after. Say hi. <laughs> it's a video. Oh God. <laughs> Why, hey guys, I am back <laughs> on camera trying to show you another outfit because I realized that I'm really bad at vlogging when I'm in a group friend situation because I always want to be engaged in conversation and try to be living in the present moment. So I apologize. I really didn't get a lot of footage. I don't think I actually got any footage of what I did yesterday. So I came back from the ballet with a couple of friends and we went to my friend Mahek's birthday gathering thing at a rum bar and I got home super late. I got home around like 1.30 because it was in DC and I had to drive back home. So it was a long drive and I was super tired. So that was that. <laughs> I'm about to leave my house again because I do not have any boundaries and I feel like I overcommit to so many plans which, you know, it's a good problem to have. I'm like super grateful that I get to do these fun activities with my friends and everything, but I feel like I definitely overcommit this weekend. On the bright side, tomorrow I'm just doing a workout. I also did a workout this morning, so I am very proud of myself for doing that and pulling through even if I got home super late last night and slept at like 2.30. Basically tomorrow after the workout, I don't have any plans until the dinner time because I couldn't really get out of that one. It's for my friend's birthday, so she's doing like a paint and sip. So I will be going to that. It's good though, because I want to get all the social activities out of the way, not out of the way, but I want to be able to do these things while it's not super busy with work. Anyway, I do have to run. So let me show you guys my outfit. Hopefully I'll be able to get some footage today. We're going to do an ax throwing bar. Isn't that so crazy? I didn't think such things existed. I'm actually going to meet up with my friend Courtney over there with a bunch of other people. It's going to be a massive group. I love this outfit equation. I always go for something like this when I don't really want to think about what I'm going to wear. Let me start off with my accessory. I have my Polen 
bag. And then for my jacket, I'm wearing my new Alo Yoga Sherpa jacket. It's so, so cute and very cozy. I just have a very simple tank top. It's cropped from Abercrombie, so I'm keeping it a simple base layer. For my bottoms, I have a belt on. It's like a little bit of a skinnier one from Madewell. And then I have my Molina pants from Aritzia. This is like the full length version. And for my shoes, I think I'm just gonna wear my beiges, the ones that I always wear. It has like the black, it's the Campos style. So yeah, that's my outfit for today. I curled my hair. Love how my hair actually turned out today because I used a curling iron instead of my Dyson because the Dyson is kind of like spontaneous. I never know how my hair is going to turn out when I use that. <laughs> I wanted to make it a little bit more predictable today. So that is that. And I will show you guys what I'm up to at the Axe Bar, hopefully. It'll be fun. We have like an instructor and like everything. <laughs> work. I actually took off work a little bit earlier today. It's around 3.30 p.m. I'm gonna go get a facial. I've been meaning to go get a facial for a long time because my birthday, my 30th birthday is approaching and I want to start taking care of my skin a little bit better. My schedule has just been absolutely bonkers so I haven't been able to schedule this in until today. I'm doing a hydro, hydrodermabrasion Facial, it's a little bit more expensive than your typical signature facials from spas and things like that because it involves more kind of like medical grade products and tools. I haven't ever tried it before, so this will be quite a treat for me. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be super busy because I'm going to an open house for wedding vendors. If you're new to this channel, I am a me wedding makeup artist on the weekends, so I got invited to showcase my work and things like that and kind of market myself at their venue, which is really, really exciting. So I do have to prepare for that. <laughs> Thankfully, my friend Courtney is coming with me, which I'm super excited for. I'll take you guys along with me for everything. So don't you worry. I'm gonna try to get better at vlogging when I'm out in public. It's a little bit hard because I feel a little nervous, not nervous, but you know, self-conscious and stuff like that, but I'm getting over it. I'm actually looking at my phone because I'm looking at my calendar right now. So that's for tomorrow. And then on Friday after work, I'm getting my nails done. I took you guys along with me last time I got my nails done for Valentine's day and it's already kind of growing out significantly. It has little black French tips and black little hearts on all the nails. Super, super cute. I love my new nail technician. She is such a doll. And then it's the weekend. So I'm excited for Saturday because I actually have a consultation, my first ever consultation for Botox. I've never gotten Botox before. I've actually never had any type of like needle like injections in my face or anything like that. I wanna start doing preventative measures for like my 11s and maybe masseter to help with my grinding and clenching of the teeth. And then I have a birth, another freaking birthday <laughs> dinner. All of my friends have birthdays in the winter. Enough rambling, let me show you guys my outfit. It's super simple and casual, obviously because I'm just getting a facial done, <laughs> but this is a matching sweat set and I have this, ooh, let me get the chair out of the way. I have my zip up hoodie. This is a scuba oversized hoodie from Lululemon. I absolutely love this. It's so comfy and soft and I love how it's fleece lined inside. I have the matching color sweatpants and these are, I believe the scuba joggers. Underneath I just have a very simple uh, tank top with these little tiny straps <laughs> and it's cropped. I love this color. It's like a very pretty taupey purple. That is it. And I think I'm just going to bring my, my Celine Triumph canvas little pouch with a wristband. So I just bring this with me when I'm running errands, when I'm just running out the door and I don't need to bring a lot of things with me. And then I'm wearing my Sherling slippers from Quince as usual. I love these. They're so comfy and soft on the inside. This is what it looks like. Now let's get going to get our facial. Guys, I swear 
every single time I come here, it's raining. <laughs> Is this like an omen? <laughs> got out of my facial and my skin feels so good. I got the hydro dermabrasion facial for the first time. I'm not sure if I mentioned that previously, but she does such a great job. My skin is literally glowing. Like I have no filter on. I'm just using my iPhone camera, like the front camera. And it just, oh my gosh, I'm like obsessed. Look how glowy it is. She used this machine that infused peptides into my skin. It just looks so glowy and healthy. Oh my gosh, I need to do this more often, guys. I've been missing out. <laughs> I need to prioritize doing my facials more on a routine basis, but I'm so impressed. Now I'm about to drive over to my dog Romper's daycare facility to pick the little monster up, and then I'm gonna head home. But yeah, my skin, oh my gosh, obsessed. Hello, bud. Oh, there's water there. Hold on, let's go this way. <laughs> Come on, did you have fun? How was daycare today? Do you have a good time? Uh, he's like, get me home, <laughs> please. I am tired. All right, let's go home. Happy Thursday, you guys. It is right after work and I'm about to head out the door. Every other season, there's this wedding venue that holds this event for wedding vendors. So I'm super, super honored to always be invited to those. It's just a kind of a big commitment because I obviously have to run out the door right after work because I have a full-time job and today it lands on a Thursday. My friend Courtney is going to be joining me, so I'm super excited for that. She's never been to the venue and it is absolutely stunning, so I'll also show you guys around. Before we head out, let's go through the outfit because I needed to kind of dress the makeup artistry part. I'm wearing a lot of black. <laughs> they actually provided a color scheme this time, which was very, very helpful. They had like gold gold, silvers, navy colors. So I decided to wear all of them today. On my eyes, I actually have gold like specks of eyeshadow. And then for my bag, I'm wearing this beautiful silver crossbody from Oleata. So, so stunning. I love this bag. I did a sponsorship with them, not for this video, obviously, but a previous video and they gifted me this bag. So, so stunning. I have a pretty simple outfit, but it's on theme. I have a kind of a shorter waist, not waist length, but thigh length <laughs> pea coat from Zara. Underneath, I actually have a navy knit dress on from... Aritzia. It is long sleeve, so it's pretty warm, which is the reason why I'm literally sweating bullets right now. I need to get outside. <laughs> and then I'm wearing just these faux fleece leggings, but they look like tights, which is awesome. And then for my shoes, I'm wearing knee-high boots that are suede material. They're just all black. That is the outfit. Also, before we head out, I need to show you guys something really funny. Okay. So we're gonna go in my, oh, it's so dark. Let me just make sure the light is on. Alrighty, I'm bringing a tote bag full of decor for my table with like the bridal stuff. I'm bringing like my laptop, chargers, stuff like that. And then I'm drinking a freaking Celsius. Oh my gosh, I should not be drinking this right now. It is five o'clock, so <laughs> I'm drinking the kiwi guava one. I love Celsius though. This is like the only thing that actually helps me when I need to alive myself, which I will be needing today to talk to people when they come around my table. <laughs> just got here you guys and it is so gorgeous oh my gosh i always forget how stunning this venue is so let me show you a little bit of the background because it's just really pretty
finally Friday, you guys. I am so relieved that this week is over. I was drowning. I am just so glad it's over. And next week it's going to be even harder, but we'll worry about that when we get there. <laughs> On the bright side, it is Friday evening and I'm gonna go get sushi with Charlie. So I'm super excited. <laughs> I just filmed an outfit of the day video for my Instagram because I like to post reels every week so definitely go ahead and check me out over on instagram because i do a lot of outfit curations and cute reels i made a video on this outfit because it is so bomb i love it it's the denim on denim trend that i'm trying to embody it's great it's so comfy and i cannot wait for sushi just to give you guys a quick overview of my outfit i have my prada re-edition bag it's in this slate gray color I have my A Goldie cropped denim jacket with my Levi's high-waisted ribcage jeans, which I love. And I have so many different colors of these. You guys already know. And my Everlane Boss boots. My t-shirt is just from Aritzia. It's just a very basic baby tee. For jewelry, I'm just going to keep it simple and just wear my daily ones. And that's that. Let's head out and get some sushi. And then I have to go hit up the mall really quickly because... I am actually going to return these. I made a recent video about Febu February worst and best products. And these unfortunately made it into the worst. So I'm going to go ahead and return these because it did not work out for my skin. They were just a little too strong, a little too potent. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that today since we'll be near the mall anyway. But let's get going. I'm so hungry. <laughs> did you get? Scotch me softly. Scotch me softly. And then I got Pretty Woman. Looks delicious. I am so starving. <laughs> Good morning guys. It is Saturday morning and excuse my appearance because I was literally about to take a shower but there were more important things this morning to do before I showered. <laughs> Coffee, F1, Charlie, romper, sleeping. <laughs> again you guys as you saw from the previous footage i just came back with charlie from everybody i actually have to leave my house again in a couple of minutes <laughs> but i wanted to sit down with you guys and give you a little update of what's been happening today so this morning after watching a little bit of f1 because we were curious as to how the lineup was going to be and how it ended obviously max for stop and one again which I'm getting really tired of, but besides the point, we had a little bit of coffee, had some breakfast, and then we left our house to go to Everbody. If you guys have never heard of Everbody, it's my first time ever stepping foot into one actually myself, but it is basically, I think, a medical spa. They do a lot of skin treatments like Botox, fillers, facials, M Sculpt, Kybella, like all those types of minor procedure and facial treatments like skin treatments basically i scheduled a basic kind of consultation with them for this morning and i went with charlie because i didn't want to go by myself <laughs> i've never gotten botox fillers none of that stuff so i definitely wanted to do a in-depth thorough evaluation with them before i jump on that bandwagon i wanted to do a lot of 
thinking and ask them a ton of different questions before I end up committing. The experience was so, so nice. Oh my gosh, their spa is absolutely beautiful. It is right up my alley when it comes to aesthetics. It's so pretty. I love the wood tonal colors that they use for the decor and everything. It's just beautiful. The only specific area that I asked about was for Botox and it was for my 11s and I actually wanted to ask about masseter Botox as well. So I got a lot of great insight and knowledge from one of the nurse practitioners there. So it was awesome. I felt really at ease and comfortable talking with her. She was so honest, transparent, and just you know, very comforting. I decided to actually book my official appointment. It's going to be in mid-March because I am going to Vegas for my 30th birthday in April. As you can tell, I'm not super excited about turning 30 this year. I think it prompted me to think about how I can better take care of my skin moving forward. Don't get me wrong, I do take care of my skin in the ways that I should, like I put SPF every single day. I have a really solid skincare routine, stuff like that, but I have never religiously gotten facials or any treatments done before in the past, so I just want to start dipping my toes in them to make sure that I am aging gracefully and doing preventative measures so that I don't have to correct later on down the road if that makes any sense. If you guys want me to talk to you guys a little bit more about that whole process, my personal experience, I'll definitely document my experience in these vlogs so you can kind of follow along the journey. That said, my camera is about to die. I hope I can get through this before my camera dies but basically I just wanted to sit down and show you guys a few items that I bought for my skincare journey. I heard so much about this at home skin tool device that I had to get my hands on it. It is the Current Body Skin LED Light Therapy Mask and I bought it for my face and I bought the LED neck and decollete performer. Per perfector. <laughs> I am so excited to try these out because you can use these at home at the comfort of your own bed and you basically just put it on your face and your neck and your decollete area right after you wash your face. LED light is supposed to be wonderful for your skin and anti-aging purposes so I'm really looking forward to incorporating this into my skincare routine. Mini Sephora haul. I just bought a body wash. This smells freaking phenomenal. Oh my gosh, it is the Salt and Stone Gel Body Wash in the Bergamot and Hinoki scent. And I'm just obsessed with their branding. It's just my vibe. I love this color too. It's like so perfect. I'm actually going to share this with Charlie because it is unisex and the scent is just chef's kiss. Sorry about that guys. My camera freaking died when I started talking about this, but basically I got the Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid and Collagen eye treatment. I used this last night and this morning and I love it already. It is so gentle, very hydrating and moisturizing. This is exactly what I needed in an eye cream. I obviously just started using it so I don't have really solid thoughts yet and I can't give my verdict like final thoughts but so far like you know a few times I've used it it's been amazing. We'll see how this treats me long term so I really like this. It didn't sting my eyes or anything like that. It feels just very gentle and nourishing. Hey guys, good morning. It is Sunday and I just came back from a workout. I'm about to shower because I am very sweaty. I went to a warrior, warrior sculpt class. It's kind of like a strength and yoga fusion type of class. It's pretty fast paced and it was a lot, but I wanted to get on here and show you guys my outfit, like my workout outfit before I change out of them because I realized that I didn't show it at the beginning of today. This is kind of the method that I use whenever I want to stay warm when I'm going from my house to the gym, like the commute, but I need to wear shorter bottoms for the actual workout. I just have like biker shorts or like shorts and then I wear an oversized sweatpant over my outfit. So the sweatpants that I'm wearing today are from Aritzia. It's from the TNA line and I love this color. It's a gorgeous dark brown. For my top and shorts, I have a matching set from Aloe Yoga. Let me show you what it looks like. So I basically take the sweatpants off when I'm at the gym 
But these are the shorts that I was wearing today. It's from Ala, like I said. I'm obsessed with this material because this is so sweat wicking and very smoothing and sleek. The material is awesome. I don't find it see-through, but I'm also wearing like a nude color thong underneath. So, you know, to mitigate any of that possibility. I'll link the exact ones in the description as always. And then I just have this really cute kind of scrunched up bra top that matches the color. And this is what the back looks like. But yeah, I'm about to shower and eat. Then film a bunch of stuff, get some chores done around the house. I think I might be reorganizing my closet and just doing some decluttering. We'll see because I feel like I have a lot to do today and I'm stressed. Guys, I have to get started on filming another video, but I wanted to quickly mention that we got a new bookshelf for the living room from West Elm. I'm so over the moon happy with it because it just looks so gorgeous. I love the aesthetic. It's that ceruced white wood with black hardware and it just, ties the space so so well oh my gosh i could not be happier it's exactly what i envisioned it to be like in my space so are you guys ready i waited two months for this bookshelf to come in and the wait was definitely worth it oh my gosh this is the space that bookshelf just ties everything together so this is our white couch and then we recently got this coffee table as you guys are probably aware of if you've seen my last vlog the white ceruced wood of the coffee table matches the bookshelf perfectly and the black hardware is also matching so it just looks beautiful together it also goes really well with romper's crate from fable and i just love the space so much <laughs> And Romper is enjoying the space as well. Look at him. He's just chilling on the couch. <laughs> but oh my gosh, I'm so happy with it, you guys. Ugh, it's exactly what I wanted it to look like. Let me give you guys a little bit of a closer up look of the bookshelf. It's pretty tall. I love the height of it because I think it makes our ceilings look a little bit higher. Right now, I just have a few baskets on the bottom because I had a few things that I needed to store in there. And then above it, I have a bunch of board games because Charlie and I love hosting and doing board game nights. So I think it's really nice to have them displayed. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna put on the upper shelves here because I don't want it to look like clutter or anything. But for now, this is all we have. I just kind of like the minimal look. So maybe I'll just put some decor instead. It'll evolve with time, I'm sure. But it just looks so, so nice. Maybe some plants as well. That'll be nice. This one I have from Amazon. It's fake, but I just put that on there to fill up some gaps. The ones here on the right are actual real plants. But sunlight gets to that end a little bit better. So I like to put my real plants over there. Oh, love this space even more than I did before. 